Brian. This is my second time here, I have to say. Love this place. Love it. It's just a little dreary, I think, actually. Just nothing that, like, curtains and pastels and flowers wouldn't fix. I just think it's outrageous, though. Did anybody eat next door? Anyone? It's fabulous. I had a cannoli. Two words for it. Scrumptious. Scrumptious. I absolutely loved it. You know what the problem is? I'm kind of a sarcastic guy, so just being sarcastic, it's kind of hard sometimes to deal with people. Like this guy yesterday said, Good morning, Brian! And I think I said, uh, Fuck you! <laughs> I'm not really gay. You know, I just, every time I hear the name of this club, Uncle Vinny's, and it's real close to Asbury, and I just kind of put two and two together. It actually might go back to my Uncle Vinny. I had an Uncle Vinny, and a lot of rumors flying around about him. You know, he never tried anything with me, but he did fly a rainbow flag outside his house. I just thought that meant he was a deadhead, you know? I, I didn't know it meant he gave head. Nobody told me when that switched over. But I'm actually divorced, you know, yeah, go figure. You know, and uh, I kind of missed her. It wasn't all her fault. You know, like I used to work 12, 14 hour shifts, come only my clothes all over the place, in the toilet seat up, and she'd fuck my friends. So apparently that's partly my fault. You know? I don't know what I'm trying to say, my ex was a whore, but she had more nuts dropped on her than an ice cream sundae. You know? The only thing good that came out of my marriage was my son. I mean, God love him, he's a great kid, but like when you have sex with a pregnant woman, you know, it's, it's kind of weird. I mean, it's kind of like when you drive down the road and you hit an animal that's already dead, you know, and your damage is already done, it's just creepy, you know? And then the doctor's always got to do that standard joke after she gives birth, like, I'll throw an extra stitch in for you. Yeah, make it three or four, she was a whore long before I met her. I'm not saying she was a whore, she just had a club card at Planned Parenthood. So, as you can tell, I just started some antidepressants. And within eight months now, I've gained 80 pounds, you know? And I've noticed that it doesn't really help the dating, because women don't like it when your udders dangle in her face as you're making one. You know, they're right about that short-term memory shit. You know, well, I'm not trying to say all women cheat. Yeah. No, yeah, I am. I am. I'm saying all women cheat because you do. But, uh, you know, I tried that internet dating recently, and uh, that was kind of weird. Like, things I learned off internet dating is if she has just a picture of her face, she's fat, all right? Of her body type, she might have put average, she means averagely fat. You know, guys lie too. We lie about our height. I mean, we're always adding inches to something. <laughs> yeah. I, you know, I'm 36, I started dating like an older woman, and the problem with dating older women is they have older kids, you know, so it's a little harder to bond with a 15-year-old than it is a baby. Baby show them something shiny and they're happy, but the 15-year-old boy knows you're trying to fuck his mom, so it's kind of a little harder, but I give him like fatherly advice, I do cool things for him. I'll drive him to the movies, and I'll say, hey Billy, it's Tuesday, don't kiss mommy on the mouth tonight, kiddo, sleep good! <laughs> Now, besides being fat, I drive a cab for a living. No college education needed. I dropped out of college, so most of my knowledge comes from Snapple Tops. You know, like, you knew a hummingbird with less than a penny, didn't you? Oh, boy, there's a whole bunch of things going on. Like, driving a cab, we drive Mexicans around a lot. You know, and I got nothing against Mexicans. Welcome, whatever. You know, I just don't understand the language, so I bought a CD to te teach in Spanish, because quite honestly, there's some hot Spanish chicks, right? And the only thing I learned was, El Donde El Carrero, which means, where's the post office? <laughs> How do you get your dick wet asking where the post office is? <laughs> I need better lines, really. But I was driving one to Planned Parenthood, I don't know why. <laughs> but I asked her, how do I say my name in Spanish? And she said, well, what's your name? And I said, Brian. And she said, well, you don't. I said, you don't? She said, no, you can't say it in Spanish. I said, well, apparently condoms and taxes are two other words we can't say. <laughs> I don't believe, I don't blame the Mexicans for all the kids they have. I blame the Catholic Church, because really, you can't use condoms, you know, if you're Catholic. I mean, because really, I can see their point. How many times has an altar boy got pregnant? <laughs> And the church is against anal sex, you know, with women, you know, so. <laughs> I think the problem with the priests, you know, molesting kids is you take a man and you say you can't have sex and you can't masturbate. And now I'm going to put an eight-year-old little boy in a dress and have him kneel in front of you and open his mouth. I mean, you're fucking teasing the guy at that point. It's just mean. <laughs> 
being an altar boy. I did. I never got molested, never got touched, nothing, not once. Yeah. How do you think I felt? I'd ride my bike home from mass and I'd have to pass all the other altar boys who would walk in their bikes because it was just a little too uncomfortable to ride that day. I was thinking about death too. And I'm really not afraid of what I'm going to find in the beyond. I'm more afraid of what I'm going to find on my hard drive. Because there are some horrible porno sites out there, and I've jerked off to all of them. <laughs> but I went back to church recently, too, and the weird thing was simply this. They passed that basket around three times in, like, 30 minutes. I mean, that's worse than a strip club. You know? I didn't even get to feel any tits. I mean, on the way out, though, the priest did cut my balls, which was nice. <laughs> well, thank you very much. That's my time on Prime, bro.